Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to yet another mystery box challenge. Except this one is on Nocturne and Toten rather than Kino der Toten. So uh I think this is this is gonna be pretty fun. I really like this map. Uh it starts off very slow though, so that that's that's kind of unfortunate, but um Yeah, once we get into it uh I guess, you know, we really get into it, but I mean the first few rounds it's it's pretty fucking boring. So I think this is probably my most played map on this game, to be honest. Uh, you know, Dertone is my second most played. I just really like this one. I don't know. I like the the simplicity of it, I guess. So, for anybody that didn't see the last video and doesn't know what the mystery box challenge is basically I just have to hit the mystery box every round I possibly can I probably can for the first round because I'm not gonna have enough points to open that door and hit the box but uh, yeah I need to get a new gun every round and use it for that round and then let's just say it's round six and I have a shotgun and like an SMG okay and I have to use the SMG for that round if that submachine gun runs out of ammo then I can switch to my secondary. So, of course, ammo is basically not going to be too much of a problem. Because, I mean, if we made it to a high round, then yeah, it would be. But, you know, that's, that's really not going to happen. I don't know what round I'll get to. Um, in the last video, we made it to round 17, which is not very good. I'm hoping for a higher round than that in this video. But I don't know. Of course, uh... Rounds all really depend on the map and your luck. I mean, I, I I watched the last video back and I was just stupid. I don't know why I pulled out a frag grenade instead of just shooting the guy in the staircase. It was pretty stupid of me, but whatever. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna gather up points for this round and then once this round is over, we will go hit the mystery box, of course. Oops, uh, stab this guy and I should kill him. There we go. So you can probably see what I mean by the rounds are pretty slow on this map. Cause you know, not much is happening right now, we're kinda just walking around. At least we have in plain sight, that's a really helpful gobble going. Oh that guy just died. Okay, well um let's go open this door. We should have enough for the mystery box. Yes we do. Perfect. Well let's see what we get. Hopefully something good. The Vesper. I do like this gun, so I'm, I'm definitely not going to complain. It is pretty good. Just for, for a round like this, you know, it's it's definitely not needed. It is going to be overkill for round three, especially on a such close quarters map. But uh, it should be fun. One thing I really do want to avoid for this uh, this video is getting any uh, carpenter. Uh, power up because oh imagine that was carpenter because a uh, carpenter is one of those things but it's like a hammer and it basically repairs all of these boards which of course the zombies have to break so it makes the rounds much slower than they already are so that is something I definitely want to avoid because, as I said it's just gonna make everything slower for for me and you guys so it's it's basically a lose-lose situation so I don't see why there would be any point collecting it. See, we aren't getting a good amount of points. Now, I think points are going to be a pretty big problem on this map. Just because perks. Uh, there is no perks on this map besides Mule Kick over there. Like, you know, that's, that's the only one. And we don't really care about that, so um... That machine up there costs... I believe 1500 and it gives you a random perk. And the perks I want... Our uh, juggernaut, juggernaut. It's juggernaut. Uh, double tap, um, widow's wine, and speed cola. They're the four perks I, I would, I would like to have. Uh, and of course, it is completely random, so we might get them very quickly. We might not get all of them until like round 15. We, you know, there's no guaranteeing it. Let's go ahead and hit the box again. There is no pack a punch on this map, like there was on the last one. Not that I used it on the last one, but uh. A 48 dredge, okay. Not gonna complain. We did get this gun in the last video, actually. Which is pretty, pretty cool. 
I'm not really a fan of this because it is a burst fire LMG as you can see. It's not a bad gun. It's just, you know. It ain't the greatest. There are better LMGs in my opinion. But at least it's not the XM53. It is 53, I'm pretty sure it is. This gun actually is pretty good. Maybe I was uh, too harsh on it. You guys, if you watched the last video, are probably sick of me talking about the XM. Uh, you might be thinking, hey, it can't be that bad. It's terrible. Just wait until I eventually get it, because I, I probably will get it at some point. Then you will see how bad it actually is. So, there's a zombie behind me. Oh, damn, I'm just racking up these points like it's nothing. I don't even really need to reload right now. Um, okay, so we have two zombies here. Is there any more? Or should I just collect this now? I guess I should just collect it now. There's another one. Um, just gonna try to find more zombies while double points is still going. Although, this doesn't seem to be going very well for us. I think this is the last one, right? Yes. Okay. Well, now we're going to hit the box again. And while that is doing its its thing, I'm going to hit this. What do we get? Ooh, the MP40. Not bad. Not bad at all. I do like this gun. I like it a lot. It's just, it's not great. Well, it is, you know, pretty good for, for now. But if it eventually comes down to it and we, we get this gun again in a much later round... It's not going to be doing us much favors, let me put it that way. We're doing, I do really like the MP40, it's, it's not my favorite gun in this game. I think my favorite might be the CUDA, maybe. I just, I don't know what it is with that gun. That gun's not even that good, I just really like it for some reason. Yeah, it is still pretty decent, as you can see. has a relatively low ammo count, not a high rate of fire. But it does uh, do some pretty good damage, so, you know, and it has a good reload speed. It's not like the 48 charge, so that's always a plus. Because reload speed is always incredibly important when it comes to zombies. Like, if you have a gun with a terrible reload speed, like, you're, you're just kind of screwed. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. We're on 3,000 points. We're actually doing pretty good right now. Um, I'm glad about that, because if you remember in the last video, we couldn't actually hit the mystery box for quite some time. Because we just weren't getting enough points to actually get to the box, so that's a pretty big problem. I do think this round is almost over, though. Uh, is there somebody up here, maybe? Um, no, okay. Well, that's fine. I guess I just gotta keep looking for him. There he is. Oh my god. Could you imagine if he killed me, dude? That would have been... On round five? Ooh. That would have been so embarrassing on round five. Holy shit. I had a feeling we'd get dead shot. In case you don't know what dead shot does, uh, it's useless. Basically... It just makes it so that when you aim at zombies, it auto-aims on their head, rather than, like, you know, their chest. Which is pretty fucking useless, because you could just do this, and then you'd be on their head anyways, like, like you see. That was actually pretty terrible, but you know what I'm saying. It doesn't take much to to aim for their head yourself, so I don't know why you'd, why you'd get a perk for it. Just, uh, it's pretty stupid, if you ask me. But yeah, uh, we're not going to take it, so it doesn't really matter, but it kind of does matter, because we did just, uh waste 1500 points and to kill sure um i'm just gonna knife him on the insta kill of course that's just what you do that's just how this works i'm gonna hit this again and we should still have enough points for the box by the end of the round so let me just uh stab this guy just for maximum per perfect double tap okay we now have one out of the four perks we, we need. Well, not need, but want, I guess. Well, Juggernaut kind of is a, a need. Just 
because uh, three hit points really isn't enough for zombies. Like, yeah, round one through, I don't know, nine, sure. But once it gets to round ten, like, and you don't have Juggernaug, like, that's that's usually a bad thing. I mean, you, you really should have it before round ten, but round ten is, like, you know, the longest you, sh I guess, can or should go with. I, I don't know how to put it into words, but yeah. Oh, okay, there's a nuke. I don't want to collect it just yet. Because a nuke just kills basically almost all remaining zombies. If you're on like around 100 and you get a nuke, it's not going to kill all of them. But, um, yeah. Uh, it does give you 400 points every time you collect it. So, I don't want to, you know, have five zombies. You know what? Fuck, I'll just... Whatever. It's fine. Okay. Let's hit this thing again. Hopefully we get something not terrible. Please don't be the Shiva, please. Oh, I love the STG. Oh my god. This is a fantastic weapon. Okay, give me something good. Dead shot again. That's what, there was one time I was playing this with Keanu, and I think he got dead shot like nine times in a row on Keanu Dertoten. It was. It was pretty terrible for him. I, I hope I don't get that unlucky this time. Not that I had, I think the most times I've ever gotten it in a row was six or seven. But that's only ever happened. Oh no. That's Carpenter. That's the thing I was saying fixes all the, all the barriers. We absolutely do not want that because as I said, it's going to make everything just so slow. I mean, it's around seven and things are still pretty slow. So Carpenter would just make that a whole lot worse. Now, I do love the STG-44. My only problem with it is... It's ammo count is just so low. I guess you can see we're... Not that we're already running out of ammo, but like... We don't exactly have much right now. Like, if, if we had to go, I don't know, two rounds... With just this ammo, we couldn't. Like, it just absolutely would not be possible. Okay. See, why would I collect that and get 800 and I can kill all these guys? Right. God damn, it's just... It's just power up galore right now. I don't know what's going on. But, uh... Sure, let's just, let's just go ahead and collect this nuke. Easy 400 points, end of the round. I set that weird. I'll get rid of the... Oh. Ooh. I know, objectively, the ray gun isn't good. At least in Black Ops 3. Well, the Raygun Mark 1 isn't, but I still just like it. Yes. I still just like it because, I mean, it's the Raygun. It's like... It's just such an iconic weapon, you know? In Cold War, it is so powerful. I don't know if they eventually nerfed it, but the last time I played Cold War, which was kind of around the time it first came out, it was so overpowered. I loved it, because it felt like the ray gun, you know? This just feels like, um... I don't know, some random other pistol just reskinned to be the ray gun, you know? It's still pretty good, I mean, for this round at least. If it was like, round 50, we'd kind of be fucked, but um... Yeah, I, I, I still do like it, it's just... It's not the same as it once was, or now is, I guess. This is kind of the grey area for the ray gun. It was good before, before Black Ops 3, and it was good after Black Ops 3, but in Black Ops 3 it's it's not very uh, not very good. You're probably confused because right now it, it seems very good, but as I said, if it was a later round it wouldn't be. You also can't take splash damage as you can see, so what is, you know, you can kill yourself with this gun, so you need to be very careful about where you're shooting it. And you also do want to go for the legs most of the time, as you can see I am, um... I never really, like, go for body shots or headshots with this thing. I don't know why, it's... It, I, I, at this point, it's just kind of a force of habit, I feel like. Because I essentially just never actually shoot the zombies directly. I just shoot at their feet and then they just, you know, die. Let's just go ahead, try get a perk here. Hopefully I get something good. Please don't be dead. Ah, it's dead shot. I should have seen it coming. 
The fact that I didn't see it coming was pretty fucking embarrassing, if we're honest. Um, this round is so slow. There we go. Okay. Let's just get rid of the Vesper. The VMP, I mean... The VMP is very similar to the Vesper. Well, not really, but it also just kind of is. Because if you might remember how the Vesper was shooting, this is how this one shoots. So yeah, this is basically just the Vesper, but much better in my opinion. Don't know why I have this camo on it. Not really a fan of this camo, but I'm too lazy to change it, so it's whatever. Um, usually this is when the rounds kind of become a bit more faster paced. F faster paced, does that make sense? I don't know, it, it's 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 when the rounds get faster is what I'm trying to say here. Um, so yeah, this this should be pretty pretty fun. The thing is, the VMP, it's just so good when you get headshots with it. I'm not really giving you guys a good example here, because it actually is terrible. Uh, I couldn't even say accuracy properly, that's how terrible it is. What is that? And I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive! Would you look at that? Max ammo. Sure, I'll take it. Completely forgot I had that gobble gun. Not gonna lie to you guys, so I, I, I kind of just thought that was, uh the end of the road there, I got kind of worried. Well, I got very worried, actually. So yeah, as I said, round 9, things get a bit more intense. Not fully. We're, we're not at the, uh, the maximum of intense, but, uh, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, there's a guy, you know what, I'll just blow him up. We'll just, I'll just spam a few of those. I thought they were still alive. I was like, are you serious? Also, one thing about this map you guys might find is somewhat interesting. I don't know why I'm telling you this, because basically everybody that watches my videos knows... Oh, I wasn't supposed to use that gun. Ah, oh, fuck. It's, it's okay. There's only one guy. But basically, um... Yeah, one thing that's good about this map is the mystery box does not move. Oh, no. So, uh, we got pretty unlucky. We got a sniper rifle, which is just fantastic. I don't really know how well I'm gonna do. Probably not well at all, if I had to take a guess. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty worried about this round. I feel like I'm... I feel like this is gonna be the round where I die. Uh, I don't want to jinx it, though. No, I don't really believe in jinxing things, because how does that work? Ooh. Now we just need one more perk. Uh, which is a pretty fucking important one, because it drastically increases our, our reload speed. And the hand goes, I'm gonna just pause this for a second and just do something. This, this will only take a, a second. I pressed the wrong button. Okay. Just had to, uh, move my chair because I'm sitting on a chair right now that has wheels on it and I, I didn't realize, uh, I was slowly wheeling my way to the other side of the room. Uh, just subconsciously, I guess. And, uh, just had to move it back, because the angle I was sitting at was pretty fucking weird. Um, and I'm dead. I'm alive. Okay, yeah, for some reason, maybe I'm thinking of... I can't brought the other sniper's call, it's pretty forgettable, but, uh... I, I thought the reload speed was much longer for the Locust, so... Oh, thank God. Okay. You know, that was honestly one of the easiest rounds so far. I really like the Locust, but, you know, again, I treat it too harshly. Oh... Okay, you see now we have the classic Black Ops 1 setup. We got the Thunder Gun and the Ray Gun Mark 1. So yeah, we're, we're, we're pretty fucking sorted right now. Also, sorry if you can hear a dog barking. That's somebody's dumbass fucking ugly ass dog barking outside. I don't know what the fuck it's barking at. Probably a whole load of nothing. That might be my dog. No, they're inside. That's not my one. Uh, so not much I can do unless you guys want me to go to the neighbor's house and tell their dog to shut the fuck up. Because, uh... I'm recording a really good YouTube video for my channel with, uh, what, two, three subscribers, so, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty fucking famous. I'm like the... I'm like the Leonardo DiCaprio of, uh... of YouTube, essentially. You know, everybody knows me. Everybody, everybody thinks I'm the best. Uh... So, yeah, that, that's... Ba you, you can also buy the Locust here. I don't know why it's five grand. I, like... I don't know if there's a reason for that, like... If it's some kind of joke, I don't really know. 
Wait, I'm not supposed to be using this. Jesus Christ. I'm so sorry, God. I'm forgetting the rules of my own challenge. That will not happen again. I can promise you that. I guess I'm just... Because sometimes, uh... I like to try and get the ray gun, Mark II, and the thunder gun, and then I just kind of... I, I, I train with the, uh... Raygun Mark 2, you know, maybe shoot one or two if they get in my way, and then I switch to the Thunder Gun when I have enough going in the train, and then, you know, just, just blow them to Kingdom Come. <laughs> Kingdom Come. So, I think this round is almost over, because we have killed quite... God, that dog is actually doing my head in. I think it's, um... No, it's not the next door neighbors. I don't know who that is. Anyways. Let's go on ahead, hit the mystery box. I'm gonna unfortunately get rid of the ray gun. Um, oh. The Weevil, it's just like the VMP and just like whatever other gun that was we had before the VMP because basically every SMG in this game is the exact same, which is just fantastic. They also look very similar, at least in my opinion, but anyways. Um, Enough complaining. Let's. Oh wait, I should try and get a uh, speed call here because of course that is going to be very important, especially if we get something like the 48 dredge again and we don't have speed call it. Then we are actually fucked. Dead shot. Who saw it coming? I didn't. You understand? Saw that coming. I mean, Roger saw that coming. Do you guys know who Roger is? Probably not. Basically, uh, there's this movie. Probably heard of it. Maybe you've even seen it. I don't know. Open season two, and uh, there's this cat named Roger, and he's just like, he's very, very uh, stupid. I think he has some kind of a, uh, like, condition or something. Because if you go and watch the movie, like, there's no way that he's just actually dumb. Like, there, he's got to have something wrong with him. Maybe he was dropped when he was a baby or something. I don't know. But yeah. Go watch Open Season 2. Absolutely fantastic movie. Even Martin Scorsese said it was, uh... It's the only reason, uh, cinemas are still around to this day, because that movie came out. It single-handedly saved the theaters back in... whatever year that movie came out. Probably, like, 2009, I feel like, for some reason? I don't know. I don't really keep up to date with the Open Season lore, especially after that whole, uh, drama that was going on behind the scenes. But anyways, uh... I, I, I literally just said last round if I get the 48 red on. Oh my god. What are the chances? So yeah, here we go. Now, as you can see, our reload speed is still not good, but it is an improvement. Upgrades, people, upgrades. Oh, nice. I don't know why I said, ooh, nice. It's not like I used one bullet. I used six bullets, and uh, I might pass away. I'm okay. I need to remember, I do have gobble gums. I keep forgetting about those. I always do that. For some reason. Because I think it's just when I play on this map, I'm like, oh yeah, it's like World at War. I don't have gobble gums. Well, I'm not thinking I don't have them. I'm just not thinking about them. You get me? Because this is a much older zombies map. Just, you know, remastered, I guess. Built again from the ground up. Pretty, pretty beautiful stuff. I really do apologize about that dog. No, I don't. It's not my fault. I shouldn't apologize for it. I don't know whose fucking dog it is. Max ammo. Perfect. We don't need it, but still. I'm not gonna complain, because now we have more ammo for our thunder gun. Wahey! So, now we have all the perks out the way. We absolutely... Like... We're never gonna have to worry about points ever again, because all we're gonna be doing is buying the mystery box. And... The mystery box isn't exactly expensive. You know? Oh, no. This is the round where I die. This is it. I'm dead here. Like, it's... The the challenge is over. I can guarantee you... Uh, if you... If you tap on your screen and see how long is left in the video, it's probably three minutes or under. I can almost guarantee it, unless we pull off some, like, crazy clutch or something. Uh, okay. We'll just have to use Widow's Wine to the best of our advantage, I guess. Okay, kill those guys. This is the dreaded gun I 
talked about all those times. I think maybe our best bet might be to try and train them in here, maybe. I don't know for sure. I'm just gonna try my best uh, to not die here, because of course that's all that really matters is us surviving. Okay. Maybe this gun isn't that terrible. I mean, it's still not a good weapon, but maybe it's not as bad for this challenge as I thought it would be. Because, I mean, you know, we have that room for training, which is really good. We could just run them around in circles in here. Then we get enough of them in the group, and then we just blow them up like that. It's simple. Still not a fan of this gun. I, I never will be. It is just the bane of my existence, I feel like. You know, it's just... One of those things will never really come around to liking. I have exactly 10,000 points. If that doesn't deserve a medal, I don't know what does. Well, now I no longer deserve a medal, because I don't have exactly 10,000, but I have 10,050, which is even more points, so really it's more deserving of a medal. Anyways, let's go ahead and stop talking about medals. <sighs> Sorry, I'm taking a stretch. It's like... 10 in the morning right now, which isn't exactly early, but I've been up since 7 o'clock. I had to go downstairs, give my dogs their their breakfast. You know how it is. They always get uh, Weetabix with milk, but milk is a pretty heavy drink for them. We don't want them getting too fat, so of course, you know, we, we do like, we do like maybe one quarter of the bowl with milk and then the rest just with water, you know, they, they, they like it. They, eat it. Did I just get carpenter? I did. Fantastic. Okay, well. Everything is about to go into slow motion, so I hope you're, uh, hope you're a fan of slow motion. I certainly am not What? Oh, I think he hit me through the barrier. I think that's what happened there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot that guy to death, just so he can't get up the stairs. I do love the haymaker. It's not it's, 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 I don't like it as much as the Brecky, but, um, it's still a pretty good gun. Just, like the STG, it has such a low ammo count, except this has an even lower ammo count than the STG, because, I guess, it's a shotgun, I guess that's the reason, I don't know for sure, but whatever. Let's Carpenter again, why would I, perfect, why would I get it a second time when I didn't even want to get it the first time? Um, I'm just gonna keep killing them until this run is over. I don't know why I said that. That's just what you do in zombies. Keep killing them until... Whatever. Um, it's, it's just because I'm running out of things to say. I don't really know what to talk about, but I don't want to just have it silent. Even though there's nothing wrong with that, I could just mute my microphone, play around with just no commentary at all. I know that would still be pretty fine, but I don't want to do that. I'm, I'm not taking the easy way to hear... I really butchered that. Oh, mystery box time. Whee! What is daddy gonna get? Oh, lovely. You know, fun fact about this gun. It, never mind. I was, I was gonna make a joke, but then I realized it's a joke that's like exclusive to a, to a video I made that I didn't even upload. So ba basically the joke was I was, I was on this game uh, called Dreams, right? Which is just this, uh, I believe it's a PlayStation exclusive game where you can basically make your own games. And I was just playing a bunch of Five Nights at Freddy's fan games, and the whole joke I kept making was like, um, every game I would play, I was like, this game is actually based off the Five Nights at Freddy's movie, and then I would see Freddy or any of the characters and be like, it's pretty weird, because if you guys remember in the movie, Freddy wasn't actually uh, in the movie, he was just referenced by a cell phone man, or just some... It was something stupid. I, I can't remember. I recorded the video like really early in the morning, so I can't really remember much of it. But it was just something really just stupid like that that wasn't even that funny. I just kept saying it over and over again. But um, may, maybe I'll upload that video one day. I don't know. It's not very long. It's like ten minutes or maybe just under ten minutes. But, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty not fucking funny at all. So I probably won't upload it. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm just getting so much fucking points right now, holy shit. Um... Yeah, the death machine is so good. I... I wonder if maybe... There's a glitch that someone still hasn't found to this day. 
where you can like just keep the death machine. Like there's just some glitch you can do that you just keep it forever and ever. It probably doesn't exist. But that'd be pretty cool if it did exist. You know, that then you could just make it to whatever end you want, except you are really slow when you have this thing. Even slower than when you have the thunder gun, as you can see. When you have the thunder gun, you're still, you know, decently fast. Then you put it away and you're even faster. Whee! What is that? There's seriously nothing going on outside. I don't know what that dog is barking at. There is nothing happening outside. Literally nothing. Okay, we got the Annihilator, which means we're gonna have to hit the box again because this is just a special weapon and we can't really use it all the time. Oh my god, dude. You serious? Are you serious right now, bro? You guys see those videos on TikTok where it's like, um. It's like. Where's this music coming from? It's like some speed clone or whatever, like I show speed. And it's it's just like uh this white guy pretending to be speed and he's like, Are you serious right now, bro? And then there was one I saw it was like it was like, oh my god, uh Jack Sebskai is copying speed. And it was just some some clip of him playing Five Nights at Freddy's 2 from like 2015. And something happened and he was just like, Are you serious right now? Like, just, you know, sing it normally. And, um... I'll, I'll go ahead and take this nuke, make my life a whole lot easier. Won't end the round, but, uh... Ooh. What are the fucking chances? Probably should have waited a while before collecting that second nuke, but whatever. Uh, can I, like, mute this music? I, I feel like it's, it's like, copyrighted or something. Um... Where does it go? Is there really no... Here we go. Because, uh, one of my videos actually got copyright claimed. It was, uh, Minecraft Hardcore Part 2. I think it was one of the time lapses I used, like, some, like, Beethoven song or something. That's really copyrighted, I guess. Um, so yeah, that, that wasn't... You can still watch the video, it's not blocked. Just, uh, copyrighted, unfortunately. So, uh... Now I guess Beethoven is gonna take all the money I made from that video, which is absolutely none because I have like two subscribers. I'm not fucking getting paid for this shit. But anyways, gonna go ahead, hit the mystery box yet again. You know, the XM is, it's actually, I hate to say this, but the XM is pretty fucking good right now. Maybe it's, maybe it's not, maybe, uh, maybe I'm just, uh, I'm blindsided by it. Is that the right word, blindsided? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and take a stretch here, hold on. There we go. Perfect. God damn, I just had to stretch my... My old bones, I'm just so old. I'm basically geriatric at this point. I should have a walking stick and like a... A hearing aid. I'm not gonna say that. Um, yeah, the Be Becky. The Brecky really doesn't have much ammo, so I'm gonna have to switch to the Thunder Gun at some point in this round. But uh, I'm not complaining. I like the Thunder Gun, but I'm not gonna purposely just waste ammo. I'm just gonna use it just as much as I would use any other gun. Maybe the Haymaker is better than the Brecky. Maybe I just prefer how the Brecky looks. Also, I'm pretty sure it's actually pronounced Brecci. I think that's like the correct... Jesus. I think Brecci is the correct pronunciation. But I just say Brecky be Okay, and I'm dead. Well, that was a fantastic uh, 18 rounds. Oh, we made it one round higher than the last video. Ain't that swell. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think that guy just... Okay, they're all, they're all having like heart attacks. Maybe they're listening to Drake's new album and they're just so, so mind blown by it. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and um, I'll, I'll, I'll see you all in, in the next video. Have a good day and goodbye.